tis the season to be podcasting. Stay inside with a warm beverage and a hot microphone. If you're interested, Spotify can help you out. They've got a platform that lets you make one, distribute it, and earn money all in one place for free. It's called Spotify for Podcasters, and here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer. So you've already got the equipment necessary to start recording today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify, Apple, Google, and everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also available on Spotify. And when you want to take conversations with your fans to the next level, Q&A and polls are an excellent way to get them talking. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. Best of all, it's completely free. I switched dorky, geeky, nerdy over to Spotify for Podcasters, and I haven't regretted it. The analytics are fantastic, and the new tools for hosting and updating the feed are way more than I could do self-hosting. Now, it's your turn. Head to podcasters.spotify.com and read all about it. Then, let me know what you're podcasting all about. Grab a bowl of cereal and make sure you don't wake your parents, because it's time for some cartoons. Hey gang, I'm your host, Brian Rollins, and this is episode 126 of the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. This week, we have those icons of Saturday morning's 1970s cartoons. Some are good and some are really bad, but they were good enough at the time. These cartoons were also the end of an era, as the 1980s would bring us more toy-focused cartoons. As always, it's 30 questions in three rounds. A dorky round, a geeky round, and a nerdy round. When we're done, be sure to visit us at dorkygeekynerdy.com. From there, you'll find more content, quizzes, and how to reach out to me on social media. That covers the intro, so let's get the show started, shall we? The Dorky Round Number 1. Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends was created as a competitor to what long-running DC animated series? Super Friends Number 2. What 1970s educational series added a new episode in 2002 titled I'm going to send your vote to college. Schoolhouse Rock Number 3. What 1970s show was remade as a movie in 2001 with Rachel Lee Cook, Tara Reid, and Rosario Dawson? Josie and the Pussycats. Number four. In what series does the infamous Scrappy-Doo make his first appearance? Don't overthink it. It was the Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo show. Number five. Herbie replaced which of the Fantastic Four in 1978. The Human Torch, or Johnny Storm. The character had already been licensed to another studio. Number 6. Fred and Barney's kids grew up and got their own show titled what? The Pebbles and Bam Bam Show. 
Number seven, what 1970s show was the first American cartoon to show a predominantly African-American cast of characters? The Harlem Globetrotters. Number eight, what show featured five superheroes called G-Force? Battle of the Planets. Number nine, the skipper became a redhead and Ginger became a blonde in what animated series running from 1974 to 1977? The New Adventures of Gilligan. Number 10. Rankin Bass turned what hit musical quintet into an eight episode cartoon. The Jackson Five. While the show featured their music, none of the Jacksons provided their character's speaking voice. The Geeky Round. Number one. What was the name of the Funky Phantom? Mudsy. Number two, Hong Kong Fui worked as what when not fighting crime? He was a janitor. Number three, who voiced the titular character in Jabberjaw? Along with hundreds of other characters, Jabberjaw was voiced by Frank Welker. Number four, who fought crime alongside the Teen Angels? Captain Caveman. Number five, who was Grape Ape's canine companion? Beagle Beagle. Number six, what 1972 show featured Scooby-Doo crossing over with a number of real-world celebrities? The New Scooby-Doo Movies. Number seven. Fred, Barney, and their families were all brought back to TV in 1972 with what show? The Flintstones Comedy Hour. Number eight. What show featured William Calloway as Square Bear and Paul Winchell as Bubby Bear? Help, it's the Hair Bear Bunch. Dawes Butler voiced the titular Hair Bear. Number 9. Hanna-Barbera rammed talking dogs, a racing speed buggy, and mystery-solving teens into what 1976 show? Clue Club. Number 10. Following the massive success of Star Wars, Filmation resurrected a 1930s comic book hero, for what 1979 show? The New Adventures of Flash Gordon. The Nerdy Round. Number one, which episode of Star Trek the Animated Series won an Emmy Award?
How sharper than a serpent's tooth. Number two, what 70s show featured a pet dolphin named Tuffy? C Lab 2020. Number three, Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids took place in what U.S. city? Philadelphia. Number four, who is Speed Buggy's driver and mechanic? Tinker. Number five, what is the only Batman TV adaptation to never feature Alfred? The New Adventures of Batman. Number six, what title character was often referred to as Dog Blunder? Dynomutt. Number seven, in what show did the title character communicate with honks or words on his windshield? Wheelie and the Chopper Bunch. Number eight. What animated canine show was so bad the National Association of Broadcasters said, quote, The manufacturers of this rubbish have incorporated violence, crime, and stupidity into what is probably the worst show for children of the season. Lassie's Rescue Rangers. Number nine. What show featured Drac, Frankie, Wolfie, and a switchboard operator named Bella La Ghostly? <laughs> Groovy Ghoulies. Number 10. What similarly themed animated show premiered on the same day as Land of the Lost? Valley of the Dinosaurs. And that's it. Mom and Dad are up and telling you to go do some chores or just get out of the house and play. Either way, I hope you had some fun this week. Next week, it's a topical topic, or at least I hope it's topical. What event's motto is the Latin phrase, Citius, Altius, Fortius? COVID has made a mockery of my schedule, so let's hope it's still on. Either way, it'll be fun. This has been episode 126 of the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. I'm your host, Brian Rollins. The music has been by Jason Shaw at audionautics.com. Thanks for listening. Welcome to books, movies, and musicals. Oh my. My name is Karen. And my name is Colleen. And we would like to share our love of stories with you. Join us for a podcast that discusses our favorite childhood stories, but also discusses things we have come to love and enjoy as we have grown older. We will be taking off our rose-colored glasses for the stories we have grown up with so that we can look at them analytically and honestly. We all have those stories that we are willing to overlook semi-good writing and flat characters in favor of our own enjoyment. So join us as we destroy our childhood loves as well as the things we have grown to love as adults. Keep your eyes and ears open for new episodes every Tuesday. Our first full-length episode will be available for your listening pleasure on Tuesday, September 1st. We will see you all next week. Bye! Bye.